Hey, how's it going? I was originally going to film with this lens and sit on the right and have the, uh, the big mic next to me, and I said, no, this is good enough. And maybe some people even prefer this format. Certainly easier to do. Anyway, I am really sorry. I'm sorry that for a while I was promoting censorship on social media platforms and YouTube. I was okay with it. I was okay with censoring disinformation, misinformation, mean videos, uh, you know, hate videos, uh, offensive videos, and then, of course, in turn, it meant that I, uh, and I didn't directly support this, but I didn't feel that bad at the time. It would end up censoring right-wing views because they're considered offensive in a lot of cases, right? And I didn't have a problem with it. And I'm sorry I had those views. I'm sorry I propagated those views. You know, recently Trump signed an executive order uh, of the, uh, it's, it's, it has to do with Section 230 of the Communications Decency or something like that. I can't remember the, the exact name of the act, but it's Section 230. And it has to do with whether or not some uh, a place, a company such as Google or and their uh, and a product such as YouTube, whether it's considered or or news sites or whatever, whether they're considered a publisher or a platform. If you're a publisher, you can you can pick and choose everything that's that's on it. If you're a platform, you can't. Well, these companies have been trying to be like a both a publisher and a platform. And what Trump has tried to do is make it so if if a company starts treating their product like a publisher, then they lose the protections they'd get for being a platform. And uh And I was watching a Jimmy Dore video where they were talking about this. And he was suggesting that, well, the best option would be for, for Trump to break up these companies. And I'm thinking, well, why would that be the best thing? They could still do, they could still do the same thing they're doing now. They could still censor, um, as smaller companies. What, what difference does, would that make? Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to break up the companies, but for the sake of the purpose of trying to stop censorship, I just don't see how that would help. I think what Trump was trying to do seemed to do more, if it actually eventually does anything. Um, now, do I think it's silly that uh, uh, that he did it because uh, Twitter fact-checked him? Well, I do think that's kind of silly, but, uh, you know, I mean, maybe it was the straw that broke the camel's back for him, right? So... Yeah, I, I'm sorry I had the views I did before. You know, I, I... And I miss the old YouTube. I miss the YouTube from, like, 2013. It was it was a free-for-all. You could make as many response videos and, and uh, that, that you wanted. You could be mean if you wanted to. You could be nice if you wanted to. You could You could make fun of things. And now everyone is so scared to do much of anything that the platform is suffering greatly. It's not very interesting to watch most channels anymore. Everyone is so reserved, you know. And I think about my last two videos, you know, I'm hoping my channel doesn't get taken down because of those videos, because they were considered offensive, right? So... Yeah, I've, I've been doing a lot of thinking. You, you can, I can't remember which video it was, but it's something over this past week where I, I was saying, you know, 
it's starting to make me side with the people who think that uh, we should allow even disinformation and misinformation on this platform. And uh, that was when, when I started changing my view, you know. So I'm sorry for having that view before. <sighs> Let's hope that something can happen where this platform can become fun again. Because it's kind of lost its fun in many ways. It's just an angry place now. Well, for some. I mean, there's some people trying to have fun, but it, when you have to be so reserved and you have to be so careful, it's kind of hard, right? So, I don't know. I guess I'm just rambling now. Thanks for listening.